Hi everyone, thank you for joining today's video about the fascinating world of pumps. I'm gonna delve into the various types, their working principles, and the wide range of applications they serve. So let's get started. Let's begin with a fundamental understanding. What is a pump? A pump is a mechanical device that is used to transfer different fluids, gases, or liquids from one location to another by applying mechanical action. The pumps most commonly convert electrical energy into hydraulic energy to transfer fluids. The pump has a driving component that is a motor, and a power source is connected to the motor. Once the pump is switched on, electricity is supplied to the motor, and the pump does a mechanical action and change the electrical energy into hydraulic energy, and lifts or transfers fluids from a lower elevation region to a higher elevation region. So, a pump is defined as the mechanical equipment which lifts or transfers fluids from a lower elevation region to a higher elevation region by converting electrical energy into hydraulic energy. Now, let's categorize pumps into two main types, dynamic pumps and positive displacement pumps. Dynamic pumps, or as it is well known, centrifugal pumps, impart velocity and pressure to the fluid as it moves past or through the pump impeller and subsequently convert some of that velocity into additional pressure. While displacement pumps move a fluid by trapping a fixed amount of it and then forcing that trapped volume into the discharge pipe, delivering a fixed volume with each cycle. For visual reference of the performance comparisons between the two working principles, see below performance curves that show how both centrifugal and positive displacement pumps duty are affected by different factors. For example, positive displacement pumps are able to handle variations in pressure, flow, and viscosity and remain efficient, unlike centrifugal pumps which does not operate away from the center of their curve. Let's zoom in on centrifugal pumps. That's the impeller. As it rotates, it creates a force that pushes the fluid outwards, creating a dynamic flow. Essential components include the impeller, casing, and well-placed ports. These pumps are used in water supply systems, HVAC systems, and chemical processing plants. Now, let's shift our focus to positive displacement pumps. These come in two flavors, reciprocating as piston or diaphragm, and rotary as gear, vane, or screw pumps. Their magic lies in displacing a fixed volume of fluid with each precise cycle. Think of them as the maestros of fluid movement, finding applications in oil and gas and food processing. Let's delve deeper into reciprocating pumps, where pistons and diaphragms take center stage. A reciprocating pump utilizes a crankshaft connecting rope mechanism identical to internal combustion engines. The crankshaft connecting rope mechanism converts the rotary movement of the crankshaft to a reciprocating linear movement of plungers or pistons. The piston movement creates volume changes. As a cavity opens, when a piston retracts, the fluid is admitted through an inlet check valve. When the piston reverses, the inlet check piston extends. The outlet check valve opens and the fluid is forced out by the piston. The discharge volume is fixed for each crankshaft revolution, regardless of the fluid being pumped. Their rhythmic back and forth dance creates pressure changes, making them ideal for tasks like chemical transfer and precision metering applications. The rotary pumps are another type of positive displacement pumps, and which could be either gear type, lobe type, or screw type. These pumps work by trapping and transporting fluid through their rotating elements. They are used in lubrication systems and fuel transfer operations due to their ability to handle viscous fluids. 
As we consider choosing the right pump for that job, keep in mind critical factors like flow rate, head, and overall efficiency. Just like selecting the right tool for a task, matching the pump to the application is key. It ensures optimal performance and longevity. Transitioning to pump care, regular maintenance is the unsung hero behind extending pump life and ensuring top-notch performance. From preventing leaks to addressing cavitation and worn-out components, a little tune, lubrication, and alignment goes a long way in keeping our pumps in tip-top shape. Finally, I'd love to hear your thoughts downside in the comments and answer any questions you may have. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to stay updated with my new uploads.